교실 영어 표현 사전 도서 출판 로그인 Part 1 교실 및 수업 운영 Unit 1. 첫 수업 1. 인사 Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Wow, you're now middle school students. You must be all excited. Yes, we are. Well, me too. We'll be learning English together this year, and I'm really happy to meet you. 새학년 인사 Glad to meet you. Nice to meet you, class. It's a pleasure to meet you, students. I'm pleased to meet you, girls and boys. I'm really happy to meet you all. Welcome to our school. Welcome to my class. I'm so happy to have you as my students. Wow, you're now middle school students. You're already third-year students. It's the beginning of a new school year. Are you all excited? You must be nervous because everything is new. You'll soon get used to everything. I hope you'll spend a great time with me this year. 새학기 인사 It's the beginning of a new term. You're all full of energy. At last, the vacation is over. How have you been? How was your vacation? Did you enjoy your vacation? What did you do during the vacation? Can you tell me about your summer vacation? I hope you had a great vacation. The vacation was too short, wasn't it? Do you think it should be much longer? You didn't want to come to school? Didn't you miss me? I missed you a lot. It's really good to see you again. 2. 소개 My name is Jung So Yoon, and I'm your English teacher. Here, I'll write my name on the board for you. Can you read it? Jung Soi Yoon. Great! This is my name, but you can just call me Miss Jung. Now it's time for you to introduce yourselves. Why don't we start with this student here? Hello, I don't know what to say. Just say your name and your age, or maybe your hobby. 교사의 자기 소개. Can you guess who I am? I'll introduce myself. Let me introduce myself. My name is Kim Na Young. You can call me Emma. Please call me Ms. Kim. I'll write my name on the board. Here's my name. It's my English name. I'm your homeroom teacher. I teach English. I'm your new English teacher. I'll be teaching you English this year. I'm going to be your English teacher this term. We'll study English together for six months. I have three lessons a week with you. I'm sure you'll enjoy my class. I'll do my best to help you enjoy learning English. I'll try to be a good teacher, and I hope you will try to be good students too. Do you have any questions about me? Are there any other things you want to know about me? You can come to me anytime if you have questions. My desk is in the main staff room. 학생들의 자기소개 It's time for you to introduce yourselves. Please introduce yourselves. Please tell me about yourselves. 
There are many things I want to know about you. This time, you have to introduce yourself in English. Have you already introduced yourselves in other classes? Would you like to introduce yourself to your friends? Who would like to start first? Stand up and say your name to your classmates. Turn around and show your face to your friends. Now, start introducing yourself. Tell us your name and age. Please tell me which class you're in. Just say hi and say your name. Like this. Hi, I'm Kim Jong Min. Nice to meet you. Why don't you tell us about your hobby? You can tell your friends which elementary school you attended. You may also say where you live. Soyeon told us her hobby too. Well done. Do you have any questions for Soyeon? I have a question too. What's your favorite food? 자기 소개 활동. Tell your name to your neighbor. Ask your partner's name. You can use the expression "What's your name?" When you want to ask someone's age, you can say, "How old are you?" Ask your neighbor which class he or she is in. Tell us your favorite song and movie. Please introduce yourselves in pairs. Tell about yourself to your group members. Walk around and introduce yourself to your classmates. Don't you have anything to ask of your deskmate? Here are some questions you can ask of your classmates. Ask and answer the questions on the board. It's very important to get to know each other quickly. Now, do you know well about each other? In my English class, I'll focus on real communication. How many lessons do we have in a week? Good question. We have four lessons a week. Let's have a look at the curriculum in the handout. We'll learn twelve units throughout the year, covering each unit in three weeks. You'll take four exams this year, and your performance during the lessons will also be assessed. 수업 소개. Welcome to the English writing class. This is a conversation class. This is an English class for fifth graders. This is an English class for adults. This is an EFL class for infants. This is an English course for beginners. The course you are taking is a grammar course for intermediate level. My class will focus on actual communication. 교과 과정. You'll see the curriculum in this handout. Our lessons will follow this schedule. This is our plan for this year. These are what we'll learn this year. Let's talk about our yearly schedule. Looking at the contents of the book, we are going to learn twelve units throughout the year. We'll finish each unit in three weeks. We'll cover one lesson every two weeks. In each lesson, you'll learn listening, speaking, reading, and writing. We won't deal with this part in class. We won't learn Unit Ten because it's too difficult. We'll have group presentations once a month. You'll take four exams this year. Your first midterm exam falls in May. The final exam is in November. During the vacation, you'll have some homework to prepare for the next term. 세부 수업 계획. You have four English classes every week. We'll learn each unit for eight hours. We'll do listening in the first lesson. The second lesson is a speaking lesson.
We'll do reading activities during the third period. You'll study with a native English teacher in speaking classes. You have the native English teacher's class once a week. We'll have a writing session once a month. We'll use only English in my class. Grammar parts will be taught in Korean. You'll also have to keep a portfolio. Portfolios include all the work you do during the class. Your portfolios will be evaluated for the year-end exam. At the end of each class, you'll always take a quiz. Your performance in class will also be assessed. You'll take two performance tests this term. This is our textbook we're going to use this year. It's so thick. Yes, dear, but you'll enjoy studying with it. Now write your name on the book so that you don't lose it. Done. Then, shall we have a look at the book? Quickly look through all the units and see what's in there. 교재 소개 This is our textbook. These are the books you need. We are going to study with this book throughout the year. This is the book we'll be using for this term. This book comes in three volumes. This series comes in five levels. The book you're going to start with is the beginner level. This book comes with a workbook and a CD. You can use the CD that comes with the book at home. You need this workbook for your homework. This book will help you a lot when you are studying grammar. As you can see in the title, this is our conversation book. 교재 내용 Shall we have a look at the book? Let's see what's in the book. How many units are there? Read through the titles of each unit. Each unit has eight parts. The first part is listening. It has listening in part one and reading in part two. Can you see the speaking and writing parts in parts three and four? You'll be able to upgrade all your listening, speaking, reading, and writing skills through this book. At the end of each part, there's an exercise. The answers to the exercises are at the back of the book. This book has lots of pretty pictures. It has a lot of interesting stories. This book is very colorful. You'll find a lot of listening activities in this part. This book provides rich expressions for debating. 교재 준비 Please get the books ready for the next class. You must have this book tomorrow. Make sure you have your books with you for this lesson. We'll read this book on Tuesdays. Please bring this book on Mondays. You have to bring the writing book every Friday. Don't forget to bring book two after the vacation. You need an English notebook for this class. Please prepare your notebooks by the next lesson. Always bring a small English to English dictionary with you. Digital dictionaries are fine too. Dictionaries are ready for you in your classroom library. Be sure to write your name on the book so that you don't lose it. Write your name at the back of your book. You'll have to go to a big bookstore to get this book. You can buy this book at any bookstore. It'll be easier for you to order this book online. 5. 영어 이름 정하기 My English name is Rachel. What about you? Do you have English names? Yes, my English name is Tim. Wow, that's a nice name. How about you, Nai? I don't have one yet. Don't worry, you'll get one today. There's a list of English names in this handout.
You can choose one you like. 영어 이름 묻기 Have you got an English name? Do you all have English names? Who already has an English name? Oh, you don't have one yet? Don't worry, you'll get one. What's your English name? Just the first name, please. Kim is your family name. My English name is Rachel. When we get to know each other well, you can call me Liz. That's a pretty name. Who gave you that English name? 영어 이름 정하기 Let's all make English names today. Are there any English names you know? Tell me all the English names you know. Let's think of English names for ourselves. There's a list of popular English names on this page. Let's see if there's a pretty name for you. You have girls' names on page 1 and boys' names on page 2. Pick a name. Choose a name you like. Have you all chosen your name? Which name did you choose? What's your choice? You've chosen a lovely name. That name goes well with you. Jiho has already chosen David. Would you like to pick another one? This name has a meaning. Does anybody know what it is? The name Irene means peace. Chris is short for Christopher. Which name is short for Robert? Write your English name on this name tag. Can you see each other's name tags well? Now, let's say your English names in turn. Try to memorize your friends' English names. If you want, you can use your English names in our class. Why don't we use our English names in our class? If you want to use your Korean name, please do so. Yuk, 자리 배치. Let's arrange the seats now. How would you like to be seated? Why don't we sit in numerical order? Do you all think it's a good idea? Yes. All right then, let's move. 자리 정하기 Let's arrange the seats. Here's the seating plan. Go and find your seats. Please sit in numerical order. Please sit in order of height. Sit wherever you like. Try to sit with friends you haven't talked with yet. Please be seated from the front row. Please leave two seats in the front row. Those people sitting at the back, please come to the front. Let's sit in groups of six. Groups of six people will sit together. You'll sit in groups in speaking classes. Let's draw lots to decide your deskmates. Do you like your new seats? Are you all satisfied with your seats? If you don't like your neighbor, please see me personally. Sit like this every time. We'll rearrange the seating every beginning of the month. You must not change your seats. Early comers get good seats. People with bad behavior will sit in front of the teacher's desk. Is there anyone who can see the blackboard well? If you have a problem with your chair or desk, put your hand up. Isn't that desk too high for you? Do you want to move to the front? 책상 배열 We have to rearrange the seats. Arrange your seats in groups. Arrange the desks in a circle. Let's make a circle. Push your desks to the back. Move your desks and chairs this way. Push your desks to the walls. Put your desks back to where they were. Please straighten the desks. Could you move back a little? Why is there a desk left? 
Today, we need chairs only. We don't need desks and chairs tomorrow. Chil, 교실 규칙 정하기. We need some rules for our classroom. What rule? The rules you have to follow in the classroom. Let's make the classroom rules all together. Think about the punishments too. We finished. Now, these are the rules you have made yourselves. Please do keep to the rules. 교실 규칙 정하기. We need some rules for our classroom. We have to make our classroom rules. Why don't you make the rules yourselves? Let's make the classroom rules all together. Here are all the rules you have to keep to in this handout. Let's read the classroom rules all together in a loud voice. Here's another important rule. I'll post our classroom rules on the notice board. You must follow the classroom rules. These are the rules you have made for yourselves. Please keep to the rules. Please remember the rules and never break them. If you break the rules, you might get punished. Let's decide the punishments too. How shall we punish the students who sleep during the lesson? 수업 시간의 규칙. First, don't be late for class. Second, always bring your textbook. Third, do not study other subjects in my class. Please be seated when the bell rings. Have your books opened before the class starts. Don't chat in my class. Never use cell phones in class. Don't put your head down on the desk. Please do not move around during the lesson. Raise your hands if you have questions. Don't cut in when another person is talking. Never forget to do your homework. Come to class prepared with all supplies. You should speak only in English in the classroom. Go to the bathroom during the break. Raise your hand and ask for permission if you want to go to the bathroom. Don't go out to drink water during the class. 기타 규칙 및 벌칙 Do not fight. Do not lie. Use polite language. Respect others. Wear clean and tidy clothes. Be quiet when the teachers talk. Follow the teacher's directions immediately. Be quiet in the hallway. Don't run down the corridors. Do not chew gum in school. Don't spit on the floor. Don't throw rubbish anywhere. Always keep your desks clean. Don't scribble on your desks. Always keep the classroom clean. Take your coats and hats off in the classroom. Turn off the lights when you leave the classroom. You'll get a warning if you don't follow the rules. You get one point off every time you break a rule. With three warnings, you'll have to clean the classroom. There are no exceptions whatsoever. Be responsible for your behavior. 8. 반장 뽑기 Who would like to be the class president? I think Jiho can be a good class president. Yejun recommended Jiho as the class president. Any more candidates? Min Jae. Good. We have five candidates now. I think that is enough. Let's vote now. Write down the name of the candidate you like. 반장의 필요성 We must have a class president. Let's elect a class president. We are going to elect a president for our class. The class president represents all the students in your class. We need a person who has a strong sense of responsibility. 
The vice president has to support the class president. We need a chief for our English class. The chief of English class will check everyone's homework. The chief of English class has to help me throughout the term. 후보 정하기 We need some candidates. Please recommend some students for the class president. Who would like to be the class president? Raise your hand if you want to be the chief of English class. Andrew recommended Mike as the class president. We have five candidates. Do we have no candidates? Then I'll pick the candidates. You can nominate the candidates. All the candidates please come to the front. Those who are nominated please come out. Briefly make a speech before the election. 투표하기 Let's vote! You are now going to vote. Write a name on the voting paper. Write down the name of the candidate you like. You have to choose only one candidate. The one who gets the most votes becomes the class president. The person who gets the second most votes will become the vice president. The voting is finished. Now, let's count the votes. The ballot counting is all finished. Who won the most votes? Wow! Chiho got 20 votes altogether. Chiho, who got the most votes, is the class president. The new chief of our English class is Yejun. Everybody, let's congratulate him. Let's give him a big hand. Let's give a warm welcome to our new class president. Would you like to say thanks to your classmates? <laughs>